Hello, Galaxy. I'm Chris Perillo, and it seems that tonight is going to be a silent night. Quiet night. Seriously, it's... It's, uh... Is this thing on? Tis the holidays. There's a lot of things that are happening. Uh, so, uh, we're just going to speed through stuff. Got th some things to showcase uh, before too long here. Jedi, can I help you? Can I help you? Okay, yeah. Oh, I'm good, hon. I don't need a helper right now. Thank you. Uh, so, this finally came in. The droids figure uh, from the Adventures of R2, D2, and C3PO. This is not a vintage. Uh, it's styled like the vintage. It is from the vintage collection. Uh, this is one of the five POA figures, though this is not a five POA figure itself. Uh, one of the five POA figures that I was hoping to get... Maybe at some point in the future, I'll be able to get a 5 POA version of this, like the, the true vintage C-3PO. Uh, but until then, uh, this is as, as good as it's going to get. Because it would have been it would have been the only, um, out of the 5 POA figures from the vintage line that I got, um, the two that, I'm, that I would want to collect and, and feel like, you know, I'm complete or would be a bonus would be the R2 and the C-3PO, specifically from the droids line. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy that they've been reissued in the Vintage Collection, uh, but also saddened somewhat because I don't have the, uh, the Vintage uh, version of this. Uh, also got a new comic. This comic came in. Darth Vader. Yeah, it's a nice uh, uh, cover. Really nice cover. I like the cover a lot. For some reason, it just jumps out at me. I mean, not just because it's, it's Darth Vader, but, uh, you know, all the other things. You know, it being Star Wars, it being a, a comic and what have you. Give me a second. Where did my cursor go? Losing track of everything here now, aren't I? Uh, one moment. Need to check something. Uh, thank you, Kurt. Just want to make sure someone was doing a screen grab. Got something else. This is why Jedi wouldn't be able to help for the time being, but she might be able to help as soon as we're done with this. We're going to do a taste test. So this is uh, strawberry and walnut. Blueberry and almond, orange and almond, peach and walnut, ma pineapple and mac macadamia. I almost said pineapple and macklemore. It's not macklemore. Okay, so we're going to start with, these are like Turkish delights, fruit delights. They were on sale, like half off. This is an orange and almond. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Mmm. Mmm. If she comes in here, I'm in trouble. Shout out, by the way, to both Alberta 3D and that Y-Wing guy. Little streamers here on Twitch. Mmm. Orange and almond's pretty good. Mmm. No watermelon. Mm-mm. Oh, there's no shout out. Because I'm in the... I apologize. There was no shout out. Now there could be a shout out. So let me do the shout out. Happy birthday, Chris Travis, and happy hot makes. That was fix some dude's cheer. So yes, happy birthday, Chris. Other Chris, and happy hot makes. Uh, to celebrate, I'm gonna have a pineapple and macadamia. Not to be confused with the pineapple and macklemore. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Not as good as the orange. There's your red. Mmm. Mmm. I'm telling you, if she comes in here now, I'm actually. I'm coming around on this one. It's a really nice aftertaste. Like, really nice. Mmm. Okay, let's go to. Peach and walnut. Mm. Turkish delight. It's Turkish delight -ish, ish. Boy, I bought this a while ago. Not for me, but he bought it for himself. He was checking out self checkout. Um, but he probably paid full price. I paid half price. Hmm. And Liz is allergic to pineapple, so I'll have to eat hers. 
Don't worry, Liz. I got you covered. Mm. Peach is good. And I don't like peach. But that's good. So far, I gotta say, the, the pineapple takes the lead for me. Let's try a blueberry and almond. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Not quite sure I'm getting the blueberry. It's fruity. But but I'm not getting the blueberry. Alright, last but not least. Strawberry and walnut. So let me I'll show you what it looks like on the inside, basically. Sort of like gummy. But they are vegan. Mmm. Mm-hmm. So, um, excuse me, there's a box part. If anybody asks if I had my serving of fruit today, the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh, that's good stuff. <laughs> better better uh, put it away for safekeeping, you know. Don't want, don't want anybody to, um, accidentally stumble into that you know they they you know i don't think anyone else would want to partake i could be wrong maybe other people would thank you midnight smith I'm gonna open my c3po droid had to take that break while i could before someone walked in see the thing is if i don't eat my share it never it never gets back to me now I have two of these. One is going to stay in the package. This one's going to be open. Uh, unfortunately, they only let you order two. Uh, but uh, some people chase these down on card. I don't think I ever would. Wow. This is a really nice coin. Looks like a reissue of the droids coin. This is, I mean, it's like... It is weighty, this coin. This is a very nice coin. <laughs> Not quite late night here. We'll just say I could use, I could have them as, as late night snacks, I suppose. All right. Here's the uh, not vintage C-3PO, but the vintage collection C-3PO as uh, styled like the, um, <gasps> what was that? Something fell off. Something fell off uh, 3PO's back. I'm like, what is going on here? This has happened on one other droid that I've had, a vintage collection droid that I've had. That's a little disconcerting. Um, I kind of push it in there a bit, this this thing back there. But we have a I am C-3PO, human cyborg relations, and this is my counterpart R2D2, who should be arriving at some point in the future. This is the C-3PO <laughs> that I'm very proud to have. <laughs> oh man, if only, if only it was the vintage 3PO, if only. Uh, Alright, now speaking of Star Wars, uh, always, because uh, that's, let's face it, that's what I do. I'm always speaking of Star Wars. Uh, let's go ahead and get going with the, um, uh, the advent calendars, as they are. There. Oop, let's save that. Let's dive into the advent calendars. Starting with, let's see. Maybe now Jedi can help. Let me. Would you mind? Could Jedi help? Would you mind? Don't tell her about the fruit. She is coming. Did you? 
want to help me with the advent calendar. Okay, okay. okay. Grab, Let's grab them off the top there. Here we go. Okay. Uh, tonight, I am printing a. Oh, oh, careful. Yeah, day number two on that one because it's twelve days of Christmas. I'm printing a Boba Fett. Thank you. I'm printing a, a Boba Fett uh, ornament, or not ornament, uh, figure for the book of Boba Fett. Okay, hun, when we're done with this, we have to put it back over here. Okay, because we're done with it. Hang on, hang on. Let's go. Let's go ahead and, and, and begin to Wait, showcase what we got. We're day number thirteen, Monday the thirteenth. So thirteen. Thirteen. Hey, Ms. Liz. Ms. Liz. Ms. Liz. Ms. Liz. She's Ms. Liz. Got Is it? it? Day thirteen. Or... Whoa, Wait. Ms. Liz! Thank you for the cheer. Ms. Liz underscore cheer dex two forty five. Outstanding! Thank you so much for your support. Oh, we got a snowman Jack. <laughs> snowman Jack is king of the pumpkin patch. Looking good. What's this? What's this? Harry. It's Jack Skellington. What's this? It's Lego Harry Potter. Day 12, 13. Day 13. 13. 13, that's right. Alright, we're gonna find out what we got here. Uh, what is that? Are you gonna build it? Yeah. Okay. Right, so she's gonna build it. I'm gonna. Give me a second. I'm gonna flip over so you can get a better view. Of the um, oh. give me a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna adjust the view so that uh, you get a better shot of her actually constructing. One moment. There we go. I need to stage it a bit differently here. I don't know what this is, but All right. I think it's like a. Trap. Sorry about that. I don't know. We'll figure it out when, we, when maybe when it's uh, completed here. Let's flip back to that view. There we go. Uh, Jedi's got to figure out what it's going to be. Won't be I able to maybe easily. Maybe it's going to be a trap. Got it? Track. Oh, a trap. Yeah, a trap. A trap. Let's put the. Uh, it's a little hard to see him back there, but that's okay. Um, is there a tip button other than bits? There is. Yes, and you just do a bang tip. Like that, bang, tip. Should be on the, uh, the page too, somewhere on the profile page, as Jedi's constructing this. She's constructing, not a miniature Death Star, but something from Harry Potter. We don't know what it's gonna be yet. Because Jedi doesn't have a, a Harry Potter Lego Advent Calendar, but she, we're, we started um, Harry Potter uh, the the second movie, so we've we've already we've we've gone down that path. <laughs> you have a tip: don't eat yellow snow. That is a good tip. I completely agree. Here, I'll just I'll hang here because otherwise my elbows in that shot. Oh, speaking of shot. I got a, I got a, uh, I got a shot today. Well, it wasn't really a shot. It was a blood draw. They are uh, measuring my thyroid. They're checking to see if I still have a thyroid. Yeah, and I'm, I, I've been prescribed a medication, although I don't know how well it's going to work. Um, I've needed I, possibly something for my anxiety, um, but uh, I'm going to be taking a medication for that or trying it. Oops, did you drop something? Oh, that piece right there. Uh, a medication for my anxiety that I hope is going to work. Um, not that I've, I'm debilitated, not like I'm not getting anything done, but just dealing with some panic attacks that, uh, that I've been mentioning that I've been having. Uh, it is my hope to, uh, to be able to work through that with the medication. What are you trying to do? Yeah, no, you got it, honey. You, they can see you. They can see you constructing it here. So you just construct it down there and you're good. It's oh so much fun trying new medications. I haven't been on a medication in eons. I'll try it. I think I've got a, like a trial period for a month just to see if it has any effect or no effect at all. Because quite honestly, if it doesn't impact me one way or another, I'm not going to continue to use it. 
at all? Like, what's the point? Yeah, because uh, depression and anxiety kind of go hand in hand. They're like, there's a fine line between one and the other. And, uh, you know, I, I guess between the two, I guess I'm, I'm happier to um, have something like anxiety than depression if I, if, I, if I could choose between the two. Because I feel with anxiety, I can at least get things okay, done. Okay, can't figure this out. Okay, let's, let's look at the instructions here. It's, what is that? I see what you're doing here. This doesn't exactly fit like that. This fits like this. Yeah, you can entertain them, hon. As I'm trying to address this. What happened to the... Uh-oh. Hang on. Do we have it here? I need you to watch out. Watch out. I'm okay. At yeah. No, no. You look at them and you you entertain them and you read their emotes. Okay. Since or or write everybody. Can you write some simple sentences that Jedi can read back? Let's see. Jedi practice her reading. Maybe. Can you, can we do that? Don't don't move the mouse. Okay, Liz. Could we could we try to not be as as <laughs> Hang on, honey, hang on, honey, 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 okay, but then you won't be able to see it. Liz! Liz, what is wrong with you? Liz. This is, this is where, this is where she's learning such what? language. What, honey? I know, but you can't see the emotes. They're, 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 they're wanting you to read what they say, honey. Can you read what they say? Look at what they say. Honey, you're, you're going into emotes, hon. Honey, you can't see what they say. Jedi, baby. You can't see what they say. Uh huh. What else? Hi, Jedi. Oh, booty. No, that's that's not what it says. Oh, booty. Yeah. <laughs> never mind. That is what it says. Uh, thank you, uh, uh Ms. Liz, for the tip, Ms. the five dollar tip. Really appreciate it? it, Ms. Liz. Hang on, I'm not done with it, honey. You gotta read their chat. You gotta read the chat. Because that's where it's at. Oh, word of the day, folks. That's right. Word of the day has not been picked out yet. I don't know what this is. This is like a... What is this? It's like a drawbridge? I, I have no idea what this is. No idea what that is. None whatsoever. Hang on just a second. Let me kind of tilt that down a bit. Um, thank you, Ms. Liz. It's been a while since someone's tipped. Uh-oh. All right, get the, uh, next advent calendar, Jedi. Harry Potter was a bit of a trick. Quite all right. All right, the friend's advent calendar. You've already done one of these. Well, thank you for the simple sentences, everyone. I knew it was going to be a slow night. That Y-Wing guy... Oh, Going strong. Thank you for think thinking that I'm awesome. Got to go. You're uh, on your end. No worries. Time for supper. Hey, that's an important reason to go. Yeah. Open 13. Yeah. Okay. W what do I got? All right. I got another girl. Oops. And some presents. Are you going to put them together? You put them together. Okay. Supper. Yeah, supper. Did you hear a Jawa? I'm pretty sure I heard a Jawa. There was a Jawa who just utinied. It was a small Jawa who just utinied. I swear, that's what happened. Not ooh big, but utini. Utini. Thank you once again, uh, Ms. Liz. I appreciate your support. Is that, I I'm going to guess Ms. Liz. Is that for all my little advice videos? Because I know you've been enjoying those in social. I appreciate that. There's another. Did you hear it? I swear there was a. I swear there was a Jedi. Or a, a, a Jawa. I heard it again. Utini. Exactly. That's that's exactly what I heard. I heard Utini. a Nutini. It was very. It was a small thing. Very small. 
Love the advice videos, need them. Well, Ms. Liz, I, I appreciate that. You know, I, I, I do my best to try to pull from, you know, something that makes sense to me. Um, you know, th things that, that, you know, I feel that others could benefit from. Uh, like today's uh, was Ted Lasso, right? Print is the word of the day. Uh, print. We'll see how this works better than tech. Some of them have been super poignant. Thank you, Kurt. Hang on, honey. They can't. Oh, thank you. Got it. Um, got a little girl here. A couple presents. A couple prezies. <clears throat> print wars. One flew over the print nest. Uh, oh, one flew over the cuckoo print. All right, I gotta open this one because I don't want it, I don't want them to get ripped. Okay, so we're going for day thirteen. Show me what you got. All right, uh, we got to show them what we got. Can you sh show them the little girl? Can you show them in the other camera? Yeah, thank you. Got it. Got it. Can you show them over here? Where'd you go? Like here. No, you don't. Not on the desk. <laughs> not on my butt. <laughs> Your butt. Yeah, not my butt. There you go. There you go. Now they can see it. Got to hold it still, honey. Got to hold it very still. Honey, it's still, still, don't move, don't move, don't move. You're, you're moving it up. It's like animated. Honey, just watch. Keep it still. Watch. See, Daddy, keeping it still. It's key. Keep it still. There you go. Now they got it. Saving Private Print. The Nightmare Before Print. Um. How the Grinch Stole Print. Oh, cool. Hang on. It's like a, a bookmark here. Kind of cool. I like that. Is there anything else? I think that's it. Yeah. Pretty nice. 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 All right. There's that one. Got a nice little bookmark there. Print of tides. Oh. Throw mama off the. No, it was throw mama from the print. Land before print. <laughs> All right. Thirteen. Hope it's a figure, hope it's a figure, hope it's a figure. Print Placid. The Lion, the Prince, and the figure, Wardrobe. Hope it's, figure, hope, hope, it's it's figure, hope it's a figure, hope it's a figure, hope it's a figure, hope it's a figure. Is it a figure? Is it a figure, Jedi? Aw, oh, man, it's not a figure. Oh. Oh, wait, and there's something else. Really? Herbie the Love Prince. Oh, I've got to do the... Hang on, hang on. Twin Lone Pine Mall and Twin Pines Mall. i got to do a sticker. Great stickers. Just... Just what I always wanted. Stickers. Yay. I, like I got to put them on. Honey. I got to put them on. This, These are going to be, I, I think. How would I? Like this? And then the clamp. They clamp. Print balls. Fast prints at Ridgemont High. Sisterhood of the Traveling Prince. 50 prints of gray. Yeah, well, it's white tonight. White tonight. White tonight. I made a rhyme. Uh, this is going to be a sign, uh, the, the Twin Pines Mall sign. I don't know if I can, how do I get that in there? I see. So I got to get the sticker on. Stickers. This is going to be fun. Print point. Purple rain. Print in the revolution. Revolution, yeah. Back to the print. Print to the future. This is not easy. I have to. I have to. Uh... Crap. This is not good. De Jedi. Yes. Oh, sorry. This is not, this is not going to work out <laughs> very well, or very easily. Get you out. Okay, I got one side. My god. The problem is with this one, is that they used uh, translucent material on top so my fingerprint was basically sh sh shining through
Okay, so we got Twin Pines Mall on one side. The Blair Print Project. The Bad News Prints. National Lampoon's Print Vacation. Print the 13th. The Shawshank Print. Lady and the Print. Escape from Print Mountain. No, that's me every night. Right, there we go. I'm going to try to do it long way. I think the long way was the secret to getting this done. Stranger Prints. Uh, again, I was, uh, I got to admit, uh, kind of stymied as to what I was going to print tonight. I, I got to possibly find a new source of inspiration here soon. Okay. There we go. So we got Lone Pine Mall and Twin Pines Mall. So it, uh, before it was, before Back to the Future, or before he went back in time, it was um, one thing. It was called one thing. It was called Twin Pines. And then when he came back, I think it said Lone Pine Mall. So it just kind of showed. So Twin Pines, when he took off back to, to the past. Then when he came back, it was Lone Pine Mall. So it, it had changed because he had changed the past. That's why. And I'm pretty sure. It, I'm pretty sure it's. Let's try it like this. Let's try it upside down. Yeah, I think it's like this. If not, easily reclipped. I'm gonna have to look for continuity purposes. All right, we need our uh, our next our next advent calendar. Harold and Kumar print White Castle. Oh, you're not gonna help? Okay. Jedi's not gonna help. She's done. Could have used some help here, Jedi. Well, I was, and the child decided to quit halfway. Um. Yeah, there was Lego. But, all right, day two. Here, you get your day two socks. Uh, I gotta clip that. Cut that out. Get print. Octoprinty? Isn't that like a module for printing? Uh-oh. Where did... Where did the... I hate when I lose the poker thing. Oh, here it is. The one side of it, at least. Protect, snack, and attack. That is day two. All right, watch out. Okay, day 13. Here we go with the Harry Potter. That's right. Shout out to Big Jano. We do have socks. How I print your mother. That's a good one, Mark. All right, who'd we get? Who'd we get? Oh, Dumbledore. Dumbledore! Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I am Dumbledore, Harry. I will send you into danger, even though I won't tell you why. The Emperor's new print. Thirteen. Uh, here we have. I don't know what the hell that is. Boy, so far I'm kind of stymied on the. Uh, it's like a cat. Here, careful, honey. Careful. Oh, it's a There's. Feast. Is it a feast? Yeah, you might be right. Feast and feast. And feast, feast, and feast, 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 feast. Feast. And he, the Grinch himself, carved the roast beast. Thank you. It's very helpful. Ready, printer one. Y'all are coming up with good names for uh, printers, right? Hang on. Did I get that right? Hang on, there's a black, is there a black thing? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, I guess I do it like this. No, it makes sense. Get a little candle in there. The printer games, mocking print. <laughs> Clear and present print. Or how about clear and print danger? What? They're, they're making fun of uh, movie titles with uh, the word print, so they replace 
one of the words in a TV show or movie title with the word print. And it's funny. Well, some of them are funny. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Look at this. Hang on. Wait, wait. Hard for me to see. So the cookie goes on there. That's a drink. And the cookie. Okay, it looks like I got an extra cookie, too. Okay. Can I get a little feast? Feast, 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 feast. And he feasts, and they feast, 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 feast. Independence print two. All right, can you hand me the Star Wars calendar, please? Still don't know what this Harry Potter thing is. It's just really bizarre. It's got to be like a snow bench or something. I don't know. Day thirteen. Or, you know, it's a scout trooper because Jedi already put one together, which is awesome because I did not have this particular scout trooper. Live and let print. I can do it, but if you want to do it, ask if you can do it. Can I do it? Yes. Star Wars, the last printer. Hot Prince Part D. Actually, I think it would just be Hot Print. The Rocky Horror Prince show. I think I think the word is print. Got it. Twin print. They feast and they feast and they feast, feast, feast. Oh, oh, brother, where are prints? Wait, oh, oh, brother, where print thou? And the and the Grinch cuts a roast. Feast. This is a great little scout trooper. New. I didn't. Uh, this is a, a new one. Brand new. Oh, oh, no new minifigure here. Just some gifts. The last little print house in Texas. And this is the last little. Um, the last little uh, advent calendar for today. Hey, no more three. Dirty print. This one hell of a gift here. Is this a gift? Is that what I'm doing here? Yeah. Hard to really tell what that is. Gleam, gleaming the print too. Electric. Boogaloo. Print circuit. So is this a... Is this a big gift then? Oh, is it like a little stocking? It's a big, weird stocking. And a nice little gift. Kind of... Kind of weird. Oh well, it is what it is. It's day 13. Hello, and welcome to day 13. I was going to do the articulated dragon, but I had issues with adhesion on this, um, on this, uh, this thing, and could not do a brim. Uh, unfortunately, because that would uh, uh, extend it past where the printer could go. So I'm 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 going to try tomorrow, hopefully early, to and my my worry about trying and not babysitting the dragon is that I'm going to lose it, and I don't want to lose it. That's my concern. Um, but I'm going to try it with the ulti stick again after washing it in soap. It's pretty much going to be the last time I try the ulti stick if it doesn't work. Because I'll know pretty quickly whether or not the things are going to stick. Crouching print, hidden dragon. Last action print. Schindler's print. 
can easily flip views now. Go to this one. It's there's no way. I mean, like it's gonna take. Um, this is gonna take uh, two, three hours to go. Uh, the Boba Fett. The uh, is it a Boba? Fett? Yeah, it's a Boba Fett. It's a Mando. A white one. Because why not? Eight Crazy Prince. I did watch that movie once. Once. It's like, yeah, I don't know if it was for me. Eh, you know, different strokes, different folks. Quantum print, minority print. All these prints. Someday my print will come. I probably should have done a, a stormtrooper in white. I've done, although I've done one in white. I don't know, did I do? I'm pretty sure I haven't done a Boba Fett. I'm fairly confident I haven't. Mando in white. So with Mando coming up, you know, it's all the rage. The Princess Bride. Okay, I'll let that one slide. She's all print. Uh oh, now we're now we're now they're everything starting to sound like uh, 3D printer YouTube channels. The, uh, uh, speaking of, I have, um, I quote tweeted someone. Give me a second. Last night, they had a really good thread. I thought I'd, I'd read it out loud. This is from uh, someone known as Geeky Fay. And they said, this is a tweet storm. They said, hey, y'all, I'm always hesitant to be publicly vulnerable, but it feels like the season to be more honest with each other more. So here it goes. I am struggling right now to keep things going here. I hate feeling this way and being this position, but I could use some help. It's no secret that content creation is a brutal business with a sweet candy center if you can reach it. I have found significant joy in exploring various areas of making and sharing with you all and the feedback and responses I receive are incredible, but I am worn down. It is very, very hard to go against the green in anything, and online work is no exception. In being unashamedly who I am, in choosing projects that fulfill me instead of trends, I make things harder for myself. I refuse to play the game and am often punished for it. The thing is, I like who I am and love the work I do. I don't want to change to get the algorithm to favor me or sponsors to give me the time of day. I know my time and expertise has value. The problem is a broken system that sees us all as expendable content machines. Of course, to a large extent, I am preaching to the choir and devoted congregants. Many of you reading this are either very supportive, create your own content, or both. And I feel bad bringing my struggles here, but I also feel like they'd be understood. So I guess this is where we come to the asking for help part, because I do think there are ways you, dear reader, can help. I don't like asking, but the least I can do is make it easy for you. And most of the time, most of them don't cost a dime or take much effort. The best and easiest way right now to help me out is to share my work, retweet things here, talk about it on Instagram stories, share YouTube videos with your friends, coworkers, recommend me to companies, post stuff on Reddit. It all counts and it helps. This goes double if you have a significant following or audience. If you don't realize the power you hold in your promotion of other people, you're doing everyone around you a disservice. It doesn't have to be me, but share your stage and share others' work. If you want to take it to the next level, use your consumer power smartly and demand companies who benefit from the exposure of content creators give them to compensate said creators better. Far too many expect free labor or a lot of work for very little and it needs to change. So, like, it's just, it was telling. I mean, this is, and I, I quote tweeted and I said that they, they, um, it's a common frame. Uh, it's a common refrain. It's not, um... It's not, it's not something that I could go uh, to them and say, 
well, have you tried this? Have you tried that? Have you tried the other thing? Um, it's it, it would be a more um, appropriate. Um, it'd be more appropriate to do to, to, to survey the landscape to see what the options are because it sounds like they're running into hurdles publishing content the way they are it sounds like they're they're trying to face youtube and and that is just i'm telling you i've said it over and over again it is a losing battle to face youtube i i, I feel like i could get away with a, a lot more and have a lot more fun and loosey goosiness on Twitch, uh, with a fraction of the people and a fraction of the stress, live streaming it, and, and so I, I wanted to suggest to them: Have you thought about live streaming, you know, as an option or an opportunity? And, and thinking that it, it may very well be the thing that would be what turns their perspective around, because it, you know it, it sounds like they are headed right to burnout, like straight, like this. They've 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 got a path going straight to burnout despite you know liking the things they do despite and they, they do a lot of um, projects like 3d printing and, and, and making and that kind of thing um, and and I know the the plight that they're talking about this is not it's not new uh, it's not easy to navigate um, but that's where I, I think I've always found uh, live streaming to be far more forgiving far more supportive, especially for smaller creators uh, that are just kind of, you know, struggling to, to find that connection or that, that crossroads between what they do and ultimately what resonates with, with other people, or at least enough. Like, take tonight. Tonight is just a slow night. It is a very slow night. I knew it was going to be slow from the, the time I hit the start button. We're, we're, we're coming down to the end of the year. Uh, you know, a lot of people are busy, a lot of people doing other things. Um, you know, I, I totally understand that. Um, but for me, it's making an effort and showing up for me. That That's all I can do. That's all I can put into it. Uh, you know, beyond that, it, it's, it's a matter of uh, knowing what you might want to get out of something to know whether or not you wanted to do something. So I, the, all I could do was basically quote tweet them and say, you know, a lot of other cre creators are, are in the same boat because it's, 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 it's true. You know, I, I don't want to make any recommendations. I don't want to make any suggestions. You know, if you're, if you're finding yourself stuck with one thing or another, just, you know, try to mix it up. You don't know what's going to come of it. So that's, you know, one of the things that, um, I feel I did a, <clears throat> a decent job with, um, <clears throat> this year even uh, in, in up until uh, up into the point where you know just falling into a somewhat of a TikTok groove and if I would have started TikTok you know at the beginning of the year I'd, I'd, I'd be further along but then again I wasn't sure what I, I wanted to do with it like just because you have an account doesn't necessarily mean you know what you're going to do with it and, and for me it, it's it, it's finding something that resonates so like I know people like not Pez Liz necessarily, but Ms. Liz um, has quoted and quote tweeted me and accelerated the, 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 the little video clips that I've done because they come in very handy for them in the situations they find themselves in. And so it's, it's just one more person on the internet saying something that you just you need to hear at the right time or to know that you can go to that person and know that they are going to be uh, receptive uh, and, uh, you know, effectively, um, the, the, the idea of, um, just putting yourself out there, uh, is stressful enough to begin with. Uh, but like to know that, uh, when you do, people are picking up what you're laying down, I think is extremely valid. Um, oh, you want rainbow? Sorry, I'm, I'm talking, y'all are doing the print stuff. Um, rainbow. Yeah, I, I realize, I think everybody, like, I knew it was going to be slow, uh, so, quite all right, uh, slow night. It happens th at this time of year. Oh, no, sorry, Roberto, we can't see that. Uh, hey, DG776, give me a second, I gotta go get my, uh, Old Rasputin Russian Imperial Scout. BRB.
Your skin's annoyed? Yeah, it turns out I have dry skin. It's not an ailment, it's just a thing. Would I rather have a real life robot cat or a real life cat? Oh, robot cat. They don't shed. Plus, you can shut them down. Can't do that with a real cat, unfortunately. Wouldn't survive in Alberta as dry as hell? I bet. Give me a minute, guys. I'll be right back. Faceless Chaired X100, Jedi Takeover. Thank you. One second. Glad it's a slow night. Was Jedi Pier great? I got. I guess I have to find a, another game here, and I gotta update the iPad anyway. Uh, ooh, cool! Apple Fitness for months. I don't care. Um, download and install. That because iOS uh, 15.2 is out. Print me like one of your French girls, Jack. There you go, Krusty. Oops.
I, I really let me just go ahead and reiterate I really don't like the way Apple manages things for their uh, for the kid accounts I'm assuming Jedi did not have any of my beer. <clears throat> 16 days to the new Star Wars show? Yes. Very much looking forward to that. Oops. Is that not... Is everything downloading an update right now? God, it must be. Seriously, I got like everything's being updated right now. Oh, I gotta get, gotta get her spelling words on the board too. Same week as uh, New Cobra Kai. Oh, really? I didn't know they started the same week. That's great. That is good news. Uh, I never started Ms. Maisel. Wait a minute. Hmm. A good time to start eh. maybe I just don't know what's what's it about maybe it just didn't seem that interesting to me did I is Tetris beat yeah that's not can't play that anymore because I had Apple Arcade and it's not worth spending five dollars a month on about the comedy scene in the 50s and 60s yeah but see that, that I'm still not I'm still not sold if Jedi played some of these these um, Apple Arcade games, it would be worth spending the five dollars a month on, but she doesn't. So it's like, why, why do it? You know, why just not have more than a couple games apart from the uh, um, apart from the uh, the educational apps on here? I mean, Minecraft's unlimited on our iPad. Yes, big fan. I can Google. Um. Oh, right. That explains a lot. Okay. Um. Sure. Yeah, that explains a lot. Uh, I I wanted to raid, um, uh, Brick People. This month, Brick and Nick. Uh, uh so it is one we haven't raided yet yet or in a while um because i've been into the, the lego thing this month and i don't usually s spread that love that frequently but just getting out to all the brick people sh sharing the love with them because i do love the lego so that's who i think we're going to be rating thank you everybody for tuning in i mean seriously like there's I knew it was going to be slow, and now I know why it was slow. So here we go. I love you. I appreciate you. But at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices, and may the Force be with you always. Uh, I'm going to Tuscan Raid Brick and Nick. Uh, thank you, Kurt, for getting those uh, Tuscan Raider emotes ready. That was a ton of Capogens. So many Capogens. It almost looked like um, Mr. Hanky the Christmas Pooh. So close. Uh, here we go. Tuscan Raiding Brick and Nick. Uh, uh, he's, he's brick building... A custom mock of a PS5, of all things. It's pretty wild. Here we go. Tuscan rating in three, two, one. Uh, uh.